Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining. Just give me one moment. I'm going to share the screen. With you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so today we're going to complete the last part of section number four, and also we're going to have a quick review of the exam, right? In this case, the um, it's not the exam, but the exercises that we have at the end, okay? Uh, for this one, for this uh, specific uh, activity, or I'm sorry, uh, section, right? The most important grammar point was the one that we began uh, discussing yesterday, right? Which is about the modifiers with principles and prepositions, right? So we're going to continue today with that. Just give me one moment. Voy a abrir aquí la... I'm going to open here the, the attendance. Okay, one moment. Y sí, también disculparme, chicos, por lo de la cámara, pero fíjense que no me, no me la reconoce. Ya lo voy a reportar yo también porque no me reconoce la, la cámara. One moment. Hmm. Aquí están ustedes, ya los encontré. Bye. Andrea Esther Acosta Hernández. Here, Miss. Thank you very much. Carolina Griselda Calzadilla Arias. David Enrique Rivera Calderón. Eh, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Edwin Giovanni Hernández Laínez. Present teacher. Gracias. Edwin Orlando Chávez Romero. Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present Miss. Gracias. Fernando José Martínez Chávez. Geraldine Lisette Villeda Chacón. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Guillermo Efemper Navarrete Barrera. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Irvin Ezequiel Martínez Callejas. Present teacher. Gracias Jenny Elizabeth Hernández Maldonado. Jenny Margarita Maeda Barrientos. José Oscar Herrera Sanabria. Santa Teresa. Eh, Carla Patricia Herrera Zavala. Hear me. Gracias. Catherine Marielos Meléndez Villegas. Present, Miss. Thank you, María Lidia Cañas de Cortés. Mercy Esther Blanco Viera. Present. Thank you, Natalie Cristina Roque de Cervando. Norma Leticia García de Canjura. Present teacher. Gracias, Patricia Lisset Romero de Ramírez. Present teacher. Gracias, Reina Isabel Martínez Navas. Present teacher. Gracias, Sandra Elizabeth Asencio González. Present teacher. Gracias, y Wendy Beatriz Toledo de Rodesno. Present. 
Gracias, chicos. Um, espérame, déjenme ver acá. Dice Natalie. Ah, ok, Natalie, gracias. ¿Alguien más que se haya agregado a la reunión y no le habíamos pasado la asistencia? Yo, 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 yo. José es yo. Levanta la mano. Eh, Guillermo F. Ah, ok. Ya, ya vine, estoy a tiempo. Vaya, pues está bien. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Gracias, Guillermo. No. Vaya, pues entonces ahí estamos. Thank you very much for, eh, for joining. Give me one moment. Okay, so this is the conversation that we had, okay, uh, yesterday. And from here, we moved to this part. And I um, I was explaining a little bit of these type of modifiers, right? We were talking about uh, modifiers. Estamos hablando de modificadores y decíamos que son, las par son esas partes que modifican los nombres, por lo tanto, pues, les dan una característica, funcionan como adjetivos. And we use modifiers with particles and prepositions, ¿verdad? So these were the examples that we, uh, that we um, used yesterday to, you know, to uh, provide the explanation. Para una explicación tomamos estos ejemplos, ¿verdad? And we were saying that we use the participles. Puede ser un present participle o puede ser un eh, o puede ser una preposition. Okay. Participle es un participio, ¿verdad? En este caso, pues el participio es el que lleva ing. El pasado participio es diferente, ¿verdad? Porque es el que va como eh, en present perfect o la voz pasiva. Broken, seen. ¿Verdad? Eh, thought, etc. Esos son los, eh, los past participles, but these are the present participles, right? So we use uh, different, you know, eh, options here. For example, the question, who is Raúl? Well, he's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raúl? He's the one talking to Liz. Right? We have two questions. Who's Raul and which one is Raul? So if I ask who's Raul, he's the man wearing. But if I ask which one is Raul, he's the one. ¿Cuál es Raul? Ah, es el que decimos nosotros. Es el que. Right? So those are the, the two different uh, options. What is that sound? I think it's my mouse. Creo que mi mouse está quebrado. Bueno. And then we have who's Liz. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is you, Lisa? Cuando, si ya se fijaron cómo funciona, cuando yo agrego which one, es cuando yo uso she's the one, he's the one, or it is the one, right? Eh, if it's singular, si es singular. ¿De acuerdo? Aquí, si ya se fijaron, tenemos el, el patrón de... Eh, singular, sobre quién es, con la, con la pregunta, la WH word, who, who's Raúl and who's Liz, también which one is, which one is Raúl and which one is Julia, ¿verdad? Y también tenemos el plural, who are the Smiths, right, who are the Smiths, ah, eh, they're the people next to the window, right, which ones are the Smiths, ah, they're the ones on the couch, entonces, si yo hago la pregunta con who, puedo usar, ah, he's the man, he's the woman, he's the kid, he's the student. Um, let me see, it's the dog, for example, if it's a dog, etc. Or it's the table, or it's the door, it's the dress, etc. Pero si ya pregunto which one is, entonces ahí voy a ocupar he's the one, she's the one. It is the one, ¿verdad? Si es en plural, who are the Smiths? Ah, they are the people. Son las personas que. Pero si es con which one, también vamos a ocuparlo en plural. Which ones are the Smiths? Ah, they're the ones on the couch. And we were saying also that we have here uh, the two forms. We have the participles, 
the verbs and we have the prepositions, right? With and next to. It could be, you know, other preposition, in, on, etc. So those are the different uh, um, prepositions that we can use, okay? Do you have questions, guys? Questions about this? Questions? No? Okay, so I think yesterday, right, we completed this one. Ayer completamos estos, ¿verdad? And I shared the answers with you. Now, let's go ahead and complete the following exercise. It says, complete these questions using the names of people in your class. O alguien que usted conozca, ¿verdad? Then, take turns asking and answering the questions. Okay, so it says, who's the man sitting next to? Who's the woman wearing? Who is? Which one is? Who are the people? Who are the ones? Aquí están acabadas las seis preguntas que acabamos de ver. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, for example, you can say, like, who's the man sitting next to my sister? Or who's the woman wearing a, the blue dress? ¿Verdad? Entonces, I want you guys to write them down. La van a escribir y van a crear sus ejemplos, ¿ok? Eh, let's go ahead and take some minutes. Tomemos unos minutos para que creen sus oraciones usando los ejemplos que ya habíamos visto. Vamos a dar cinco minutos, pero antes de eso, I'm going to share this. Vamos a compartir esto aquí en el chat para que lo tengan a la mano, permítanme. Pre-intermedio, aquí está. Ahí está, ok. Entonces, now let's move on to this exercise. Ahora sí, vamos a trabajar en exercise B, ejercicio B. Veamos. Va a ser este de acá. Ok, ustedes van a completarlo con la información que van a agregar. Preguntas de las instrucciones, chicos. Questions. Preguntas? No? Bye. Let's begin. Okay, we're going to begin with the exercise. You have five minutes. Give me one moment. Give me a moment.
I'm here, guys. Okay, guys, time's up. Do you have all your exercises ready? Well, your sentences. <laughs> Let's begin with the first one. Who is the man sitting next to? Okay, comenzamos, okay? Let's go to the, this Edwin. Bye, está bien, Edwin, no se preocupe. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I understand. Uh, what about this one, guys? Number one, aquí en el chat, please go, everyone go. And tell me how would you end the question? ¿Cómo terminarían usted la pregunta? ¿verdad? Who's the man sitting next to? In my case, I will say my sister, for example. Next to my sister, right? Who's the man sitting next to my sister? Okay. Number two. Number two. Who's the woman wearing what, guys? ¿Cómo les quedó esa? A red dress. Uh -huh. Who's the woman wearing the red dress or a, a red dress? Muy bien. Um, number three, who is? Who is what? ¿Cómo harían eso? Who is Nestor? Muy bien. Okay, who is Nestor? Uh, or, who, is, uh -huh. who is the man next to the window? Ajá, uh -huh. who is the man next to the window? Muy bien, ¿alguien más? Who is the beautiful woman? Who is that beautiful woman? Muy bien, excelente, ¿ok? What about which one? Which one? Which one is on the table? Which one? Hmm. Which one? Can I use which one like that? Take a look at the at the at the picture there. This uh, which one is Raúl? Ah, tal vez which one? Which one is uh, the table that you are talking about? ¿Cuál es la, la, la mesa de la que hablas, verdad? Which one is the table you need? Ah, it's the one next to the living room. Ajá, uh -huh, you see, muy bien. Uh, any other example? 
con who, I mean, which one? Examples with which one? What about number five? Who are the people? I can use teacher. Huh? I can use which one is the color that you like? Which one is the color that you like? Which one is the color that you like? See, si, si puede. Mm -hmm. Which one is the color that you like? Oh, yo si, si, quizás diría de un solo which color do you like? Mm -hmm. okay. A menos okay. que los tenga enfrente, ¿verdad? Which one? ¿Cuál de estos dos? Mm -hmm. eh, number five. Who are the people? Who are the people walking in the street? Uh -huh. Who are the people wa walking? I'm sorry, Alanda. Walking in the street. On, walking on the street. Muy bien. Excellent. Anyone else? Who are the people next to the park? Who are the people next to the park? Muy bien. What else? Who are the people playing football? Who are the people playing football? Very good. What else? Oh, sorry, estaban super bien los ejemplos, okay? What else can you tell me? What about number six? Six, I'm sorry, who are the ones? Who are the ones? It's correct, say, who are the ones, the, the ones working in a factory? Ajá, uh -huh. who are the ones working in the factory? O digamos que siempre son de la misma empresa y preguntamos, eh, who are the ones working inside the factory? Ah, eh, fulano, 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 right? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, muy bien. Or which ones, we, I mean, who are the ones working in exercise number five? Ah, raise your hand, okay? So the ones that are working with exercise five will raise their hand, right? So who are the ones um, eating uh, soup, okay, in, in the restaurant? Or which one, I mean, who are the ones uh, wearing white gloves, right, in the, in the restaurant? And then you can include more examples, okay? So guys, do you have questions about the topic? Is it clear? Or do you still have questions? Mm -hmm. yeah, for me, it's clear, teacher. Okay, thank you, Eugenio. And what about the rest? Okay. It's clear. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's go ahead and continue with the next activity. Let's continue, right? So, there is a... a in, in, well, let me just also uh, load the platform in case we need it, right? There is also, guys, um, a section here about a pronunciation, right? Contrastive stress in responses, right? So it says, listen and practice and notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast, right? What is contrast, uh, Marcel? Well, contrast is whenever you want to um, highlight, you know, two points, for example, is Anthony uh, the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt, right? So the answer, I mean, the, 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 the color in my question was red. So I want to emphasize that the color is different from the one that they asked me in the question, right? So is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt, right? So as you can see, we add extra stress in that word because that's what my main message. I want to tell this person that actually it's not the one wearing the red shirt, but the one wearing the black shirt, okay? Then in letter B, is Judy the woman on the couch? No. Diana is the woman on the couch, 
So it's a different person, right? So Diana is the woman on the couch. We're talking about two different people. Then it says, mark the stress changes in these conversations, listen and check, then practice uh, the conversation, right? Ay, permítame. Okay, ahí está. It says, is Brigitte the one sitting next to Caddy? No, she's the one standing next to Caddy. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch, right? So what are the words that we stressed? ¿Cuáles son las palabras que vamos a acentuar en la primera, en la primera conversación aquí con Brittany? Standing. Standing, okay, very good. Standing. What about mm -hmm, what about the second one, the second conversation? Behind. Behind, exactly, because that's the contrast. There is where I have the contrastive stressing responses, right? Because I'm expressive, I'm specifying that we have, uh, we are talking about two different things, okay? Questions, guys, about this one? Preguntas? No? Okay, very good. And there is the end of the section in uh, far, far, four, 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 uh, blah, 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 four point twelve. Okay, here we have an exercise. Okay, and it is related right to uh, the topics that we have uh, started. Right, uh, I don't know if you still have questions you know, about the platform, guys. Questions about the platform? No? No, teacher. Excellent, very good. What we're going to do right now is we are going to try to uh, take advantage of time and to uh, also work in some exercises. Just bear with me. Ya se los paso, permítame. We have, I have the exercises here, but I need to send them to you. Se lo voy a mandar a al WhatsApp, ok? O déjenme ver si se los puedo mostrar. No, yo creo que sí se los puedo mostrar. Sí, vaya. Vamos a trabajar entonces en ejercicios adicionales, ¿verdad? About this unit, ok? Entonces les voy a compartir la pantalla. ¿Verdad? Here we have some exercises. Can you see them? ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí se ve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says, write the opposites, use the words in the box. So, if I have curly hair, the opposite would be straight. Curly means cabello rizado, o decimos nosotros en español colocho, ¿verdad? Y luego straight es liso. Si yo digo dark, Dark color, ¿cuál sería el opuesto a dark? Blonde. Eh, repita, repita ahí. No escuché. Light. 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 Ok. In this case, if it's dark, el opuesto sería light. Uh -huh. Si es eh, elderly, ¿cuál sería el opuesto? Young. Young. Right. Muy bien. Si es long, el opuesto es short. short. Y si es short, el opuesto es long. Long, right? Exactly. Now, those are the opposites that we can use, and these are related to physical uh, appearance, right? And also age. Okay. What about this one, guys? Veamos este. Dice: match the words in column eight. And B, to make descriptions, write a description, right? So in the first one, we have dark brown. So dark brown. What about the next uh, the next words, okay? I'm going to give you, hmm, 
five minutes for you to complete exercise eight and exercise B, exercise B on your notebooks, please, en sus, en sus eh, cuadernos, ¿verdad? Porque creo que algunos de ustedes tienen ahí sus cuadernos, ¿verdad? So I'm going to give you five minutes for you to complete exercise A and B. El A está un poquito más, más elaborado, así que let's go ahead and work on this one. Hmm? Yes, Wendy. Do you have questions? No? Wendy, hey, come uh, on. Um, uh, no, hmm? oh, okay. Sorry. No, don't worry, it's okay. Let me know when you're ready, okay? We still have one minute.
Okay, so it's time, guys. Let's go ahead and check the uh, first exercise. Let's see over here. Uh, for the second one, fairly, you can, I mean, what can you put together with fairly to make description? Fairly what? Fairly mm -hmm. what? Fairly long, I think. Mm -hmm. Yo también. Fairly long, right? What about good? Well, looking. Good. Early looking. Looking, right? What about medium? Medium height. Mm -hmm. Medium height, right? Medium height. How is that? And uh, the last one, right? Middle age. Mm -hmm. Middle aged. Right, middle age. Now we're going. We're going to use all of these, uh, the almost descriptions, and we're going to say. I mean, uh, put them here. Right. So we have the first one. What does he look like? Well, he's good looking. Okay. What about number two? How long is his hair? Fairly long. It's or it is, but that it is fairly long. Okay. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's dark brown. How old is he? He's middle He's age. Middle. He's middle age. La última se me borró, vieron. Uh -huh, middle age. Aquí number five se me borró. Eh, number five. How tall is he? She is fairly long. He is a medium, mm -hmm. medium height. height. Mm -hmm. Pero no podemos decir he, she ni, ni a, ¿verdad? Sino que he is eh, medium height, ¿verdad? Medium height. Muy bien. Okay. And there we have the description, right? Eh, these uh, um, adjectives, because actually, eso funciona también como adjetivo porque están describiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, here we have middle age, you know, person is de mediana edad. So, here we have, you know, the different uh, uh, vocabulary words, right, that we used previously. Do you have questions, guys, about the exercise? Questions? Pregunta, chicos? It's clear yeah. for me. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue with the next exercise. Okay, it says complete the conversation with questions. Here we have the questions, okay? It says, what does she look like? Or what does she look like? I'm sorry. Well, she's quite pretty with straight hair and black hair, right? So he's given the description. But here what we have to do is to write down the questions, right, that he asked, okay? So, si la respuesta es, it's medium length, what was the question? ¿Qué preguntaron? What tall is she? Mm, pero no puedo decir what tall, sino how tall, ¿verdad? Pero how están tall. diciendo que es, it's medium length. O sea, es un largo corto, ¿verdad? Un largo medio, algo así. Entonces, medium length, ¿para qué lo podemos utilizar? ¿Para estatura o para cabello? How long is here? Cabello. Her, her, her. Cabello, ¿verdad? Y dice por allá Edgar, how long, dice, how long is, is her hair? ¿verdad? Ok, y la respuesta es, it's medium length. Luego pregunta, perdón, él contesta, she's fairly tall. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta que hizo? How tall is she? Mm -hmm, exactly. ¿verdad? How tall 
is she? ¿Qué tan alta es ella? Ah, she's fairly tall. Luego le responde, she's in her early 20s. Está en sus, en sus 20s, ¿verdad? En sus 21, 22, 23, ¿verdad? Entonces, what was the question? And, uh, oh. How old is she? Muy bien, ¿verdad? And how old? How old? How old? Is she? And the answer is she is in her early 20s, right? Then we have sometimes I think she's wearing that now. Oh, okay, I think I see her over here. What is the question? What does she look like? Mm, no, porque incluso, ¿saben qué? Podemos ocupar una de las estructuras que acabamos de estudiar porque dice, sometimes, I mean, sometimes, I think she's wearing them right now. How often is she wearing? How often does she wear glasses? No, porque entonces preguntaríamos con qué frecuencia utiliza sus lentes. How often does she wear glasses? ¿Verdad? Podemos preguntar algo así como... Eh, is the woman wearing glasses? Como la estructura que acabamos de terminar de estudiar. Is the woman wearing glasses? ¿Verdad? Ay, pero es que tenemos el sometimes, porque si no tuviéramos sometimes, podríamos decir, I think she's wearing them now. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no. What about, eh, does she wear glasses? ¿Verdad? Does she wear glasses? Ahí sí. Ah, ahora entiendo por qué Edgar me había dicho esa. Does she wear glasses? Okay. Sometimes I think she's wearing them now. ¿Verdad? Ay, eh, usa lentes, decimos. ¿Verdad? Usa lentes. Eh, luego tenemos, uh, oh, okay, I think I see her over there. ¿Verdad? So you have all the questions. ¿verdad? Pero tenemos, escuché bastantes ahí, bastantes preguntas que están, más, están este, formuladas de una forma diferente. ¿verdad? Hay que recordar los diferentes elementos que tenemos en las preguntas porque son las más este, complicadas al momento de hacerlas. ¿verdad? Entonces, you have to be careful with the questions. Now, let me delete all my drawings. Ahí está. Continuamos con el siguiente ejercicio. It says, correct information. Vaya, chicos, tenemos aquí a, a, a la primera persona, ¿verdad? Correct information. Circle two things in each description that do not match the picture. Algo que no haga match, ¿verdad? So, tenemos, this man is in his late 40s. He's pretty tall, he has a black mustache, and he's bold. He's wearing a dark shirt and jeans, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí tenemos cosas que no son ciertas. Por ejemplo, he isn't in his late, his late 40s, ¿verdad? No está tan señor. He isn't in his late 40s. He's in his 20s, in his 20s ¿verdad? Eh, what else can we say? ¿Qué más podemos decir que no es cierto? And he's bold. Mm -hmm. He isn't, ¿verdad? He isn't he, bold. He's wearing a dark shirt. He isn't wearing a dark shirt. Muy bien, porque no es una dark shirt. He isn't wearing a dark shirt. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué más? Is that a mustache? Ese es un bigote. It's true. A mí me parece más como bird, como una barba, me parece. No era mustache, but... Yeah, or both. <laughs> so, the things that we said that are not true is that he isn't bold, porque no es calvo, he isn't bold. And he isn't wearing a dark shirt, ¿verdad? Porque no es una, una camisa oscura. Actually, it's, it, it looks like it's a light color, okay? What about this one? Look, eh, pero, ahí está. this woman is about 25. She's very pretty. 
She's medium height. Her hair is long and blonde. She's wearing a black sweater and tennis shoes, and she's standing next to the to her motorcycle. So, what are the things that are aren't true? Cosas que no son ciertas. She's wearing a black sweater and tennis shoes. Uh -huh. Entonces diríamos, she isn't wearing a black sweater and tennis shoes. What is she wearing? ¿Qué viste? No, high heel. She's wearing, are those high heels? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a jacket and those look like a pair of boots. Un par de botas parecen, ¿verdad? Those look like a pair of boots, okay? Very good. Eh, is she standing next to her motorcycle? ¿Está parada a la par de su motocicleta? It's false. It's false, right? Because actually she ah. is sitting on the motorcycle, right? Muy bien. What about this woman? So this woman is in her 20s, right? She's pretty serious looking. She has glasses and straight brown, brown, blonde hair. She's fairly tall and she's wearing a good looking skirt and blouse. So what are the things that are not true? She is in glasses. She doesn't. She doesn't have glasses. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't have glasses. That's true. It's cierto, because actually I don't see the glasses there, right? What else? He's straight blonde hair. Uh -huh. She doesn't have a straight blonde hair. ¿Cómo es el cabello de ella? Curly Black. hair. Curly. Curly. And what color? Black. Black. Black, Black or dark curly hair, ¿verdad? Uh, I think the rest is true because actually she's fairly tall and she's wearing a good looking skirt and blouse. Muy bien, excelente. Now, guys, do you remember we were talking about casual and formal? Well, so we're going to classify the following uh, the following clothes, right? Which clothing items are more formal? Which are more informal or casual? Use the words from the list and complete the chart. So I'm going to give you guys four minutes for you to complete this exercise, okay? Voy a tenerlo aquí en cinco, pero al faltar uno, we check the answer. So there we go.
Are you ready, guys? Ya casi se acaba el tiempo. Okay, it's time's up. Let's go ahead and, and check the answers. So what about the first part, okay? The first part we have here, the formal clothes, okay? We have a blouse first. What else will you add to this category? Dress. A dress, formal, okay. What else? Tie. I'm sorry? Tie. A tie, muy bien. ¿Qué más? Scarf. 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 Well, Sweet. yeah, why not? What else? Sweet. Se dice suit, ¿verdad? A suit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Porque sweet es dulce, ¿verdad? Entonces se dice suit. Y también bueno, sweet. Bien. ¿El qué? Suit. suit. Traje. Suit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Skirt. Skirt, ok. What else? Only that? T-shirt. T-shirt. Can I put a t-shirt in the formal clothes? No. No, ¿verdad? Entonces pasémonos para acá ahora. For casual. So what can y we have? Ah, y... oh, no, ya está ahí. Ya, yeah. ok. Eh, in casual, what can we have in casual? Boots. Boots, Boots right? Oops. What else? Jeans. Cap. Jeans, uh -huh. Cap. A cap. Short. Short. Shorts. Running shoes. Running shoes. T-shirt. Ah, we see, ¿verdad? T-shirt. Recordemos, T-shirt, not, not teacher, because teacher is something else. Es maestro, ¿verdad? Entonces, T-shirt. Then, what else? ¿Qué? Eh, ¿Cuál, perdón? Ya está ahí, teacher. Ah, ok, cap, ok. Very good. So here we have the classification. We can have boots, jeans, cap, shorts, running shoes, and t-shirt for casual clothes. Oh, como diríamos en español, informal clothes, ¿verdad? Um, also in, in casual, por ejemplo, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ajá, cabalitas nos quedaron tres. Seis y seis. Ok, y el último ejercicio. Okay, it's about this one. Write a sentence. It says, write a sentence about each person. Use the words in the box and participles. Okay, by a William. Aquí tenemos a William. ¿ve? William is the man wearing a suit and a tie. Okay. Then it says here, it's a woman. Okay. And then we have to look for a definition. ¿Verdad? Entonces veamos acá. Me voy a abrir acá el texto. So it's a woman. Then it says, carry a jacket, wear some glasses, stand next to Alice, uh -huh. uh, talk to the man, etc. Entonces, who is the woman or uh, the woman? ¿verdad? Y aquí dice, carry a jacket. Podemos usar esta, ¿verdad? Mandy. Okay, podemos decir, Mandy is the woman carrying carrying a jacket, okay? Mandy is the woman carrying the jacket, okay? Ya tenemos the woman, okay? Y luego dice the one, okay? Como solo es uno y es un chico, ¿verdad? Podemos decir algo sobre Giorgio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Giorgio is the one What? Stand next to Alice. Exactly, standing next to Alice, right? It's the it's the one standing next to Alice. The ones. Tenemos ahí a quienes. Edward and Kate. Aha, uh -huh. muy bien. Edward and Kate are the ones. What? I think it's wearing sunglasses, but they're wearing 
sunglasses, okay? So Edward and Kate are the ones wearing sunglasses. Luego, tall woman. Creo que era Mandy. <laughs> Creo que era Mandy. Uh, Mandy, creo que Alice es la que lleva chaqueta, ¿verdad? Alice. Sí. Uh, uh -huh. Alice is the woman carrying a jacket, la que lleva chaqueta. Mandy. Ay, perdón. Acá. Mandy is the... Mandy is the tall woman. Ok. Eh... Miss, pero Alice es quien está hablando con el señor. Wearing jacket. No, es que aquí ve. Esta es la que me tengo que traer para acá. Ve. She is the one carrying the jacket, Mandy. Y luego Alice, ¿verdad? Alice is the woman eh, talking to the man, ¿verdad? Talking to the man. Ahí está. Hoy sí tenemos las oraciones completas, ¿verdad? Okay, guys, so that was a review about the different topics that we studied. Uh, I'm going to finish the class here. Solo voy a pasar la lista de los que me, no me contestaron. Y son Carolina Giselda Calzadilla Arias. Uh, David Enrique Rivera Calderón. Ya, ya me pasé el tiempo. Uh, creo que tienen un micrófono activo. Uh, Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Present teacher. Gracias. Luego Edwin Orlando Romero Chávez. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Eh, Fernando José Martínez Chávez. Fernando José. Irma Zuleima Grande de Cuellar. Irma Zuleima. Eh, Jenny Elizabeth Hernández Maldonado. Present. Gracias, Jenny Margarita Maeda Barrientos. Thank you. María Lidia Cañas de Cortés. María Lidia. Bye, chicos. Los dejo entonces. Thank you very much for joining and see you tomorrow, okay? See you. See you Monday. Bye bye. See you Monday, teacher. See you Monday.